Welcome back, adventurers, to the Pillars of the Earth. We are playing Aliena Hello. at the moment, and yeah, somebody knocked at the door at the end of last episode, uh, and now we know who it is. It is Philip. So let's see. A visitor? Yeah, Please, it's Philip. I have to talk to you. Okay, in a second. Um, I think we looked at everything. She's not selling wool anymore. Um, she only um, has it for herself, making linen Is here on there? a on a loom. Oh, I don't know if she's making linen, but she's weaving something. And uh, there was a coat of arms. Oh, her family needs an emblem. I see. Okay. Um, there is nothing. So she is still, uh, or not still, already married to Alfred. He's still sleeping. Oh, I didn't know that. Lady Aliena, I'm sorry. I'm okay. There. Let's not have him waiting uh, too long. Yes. I'm sorry for disturbing you on an important day like this, but. Have you, by any chance, seen Jack since yesterday? Has something happened? He's gone. We've been looking for him all morning. Um, we remain calm. No, I, I haven't seen him. Does anyone know why he left? Well, yes. And I'm afraid it is my fault. I had him locked away. But in the end, I just punished anger with wrath. Um. Yeah, they have. Oh, we've all failed him. No, I am the one to blame, and I pray to make it right again. My monks are already trawling the woods. I myself will go to Shiring while Martha is taking a horse to a cave he used to know. Please, don't let this spoil the first day of your marriage, when there should be only reason to rejoice. Thank you. I don't think there's any reason to rejoice. Three days later. They still haven't found it. How long has it been? Three days. Well, I think he's gone for good. I love him like a brother. But first, he tries to kill me. Then he runs off, worrying his family's sick. Are you hungry? I think I'll prepare some food. Great. I'm starving. Okay, here we are in a marriage she doesn't want, really. I mean, but she chose so, so I don't know. They are barely making progress. No wonder. Many lost friends and family in the attack. Hmm. And Alfred here doesn't seem to be that busy, to be honest. No, I won't brood about him. Not today. I already soaked the weed and added milk. Huh. So she's making a weed soup or something? I'm glad that he never touched me. Okay. But I don't think that won't stay like that, to be honest. Well, let's cook a bit. What are you cooking? Fermenti. What's going in it? Wheat and ale with milk, spices, venison and eggs. <laughs> well, as long as it tastes good. Okay, make first pottage for your husband. Spices. I need to add some spices. Huh, okay, so and now... I mustn't forget the eggs. Now we have to collect the ingredients, it seems. Okay, take an egg. 
Ooh, those were a lot. Martha bought them yesterday or the day before. What? Two days later. Um. Um, we've been married for what? A week? Five days. Five days. That's almost a week. Yet, we still haven't... You know... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I want this to work, but I need time. It's all right. Sometimes you look at me like you think your husband isn't a good man. But I am a good man. You'll see. I mean, he tries, I think. Huh. What are we doing now? Oh, we still have the eggs. So we didn't cook for two days. Oh, they're full again. Can I take some? No. Ah, there are the spices. I have to cook again. Soon I need more spices. Okay. I thought now every time we grab an ingredient, um, we pass some days, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, now we have spices and eggs. We need venison, she said. Can we take the coin? No. I cannot take that though. There's nothing in the bedroom? Huh. Spices. I need to add some spices. And I mustn't forget the eggs. So maybe she put venison in there already. Twelve days later. Today, I was thinking about what you and Philip did for our workers when they were afraid that they wouldn't be paid. Offering them coin to make them stay and feel safe. What if I did something similar? How about I could offer them pay in case something happens? Like an insurance. What do you think? Hmm. I mean, if he can. That would be very kind. I want to suggest it to the prior tomorrow. He said he'd come over around noon tomorrow. Maybe he could eat with us. And you, um, you could help me explain the idea. If you want. I think... I think it would be good for you. To do something other than cooking and weaving. You haven't left the house in two weeks. Seventeen days. Okay. Cook again. Can we weave? No, oh, gee, she can't do anything else. Oh, they are growing bigger or fuller. Well, not the fuller, but it's more than before. <laughs> you know what I mean. Huh. Okay, still no progress. I mean, it's only two weeks with 17 days. Cannot grab anything else. You need any help? You could prepare the meat. Ah. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, never mind. I've got it. Okay, so we can talk to him, but he doesn't do anything. Well, let's put the eggs in. The next day. 
Would you like venison with it? No, thank you. I'm just here to talk. Aesthetic as always, I see. It just turns more and more into a habit, really. So he doesn't eat anymore? That is not good. He's looking paler than usual and thinner. Even the novices started whispering about him. Yeah, it doesn't help if he doesn't eat. It doesn't help anybody. How much I miss having my own business. Yeah, I know. You should go back to business. Get in independent, earn your own money. Just in case something happens that you don't want to happen in that marriage, right? Huh, we cannot do anything else. Let's talk to Philip then. So you are suggesting that we promise the workers money if the construction is not completed? Yes, as an in insurance. Since the fleece fair, they've been quite worried. It would ease their minds a bit. Yes, especially since they'd know they don't have to finish the cathedral in order to get rich. It sounds to me like we would be tempting them to fail deliberately. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. Don't be so cynical, Philip. I'm not. It's just... It's just so hard to encourage goodness these days. We tried so hard in the last few years, yet all we reaped is death and misery. The alternative would be to do nothing at all. I think it's not a bad idea. We wouldn't promise them too much, just enough to help them get by till they find new work. It would ease their minds a bit. Yes, you said that. Your idea shows great compassion, Alfred. Thank you, Father. It's very rare these days to find spirits who still believe in the good of people. Unfortunately. <sighs> I could never promise them coin, because one cannot give what one does not have. Ever since the market collapsed, Kingsbridge is losing more than it earns. We may even run out before we complete the cathedral. What? It was my father's dream to build that thing. We must finish it. Could you build faster? Finish it before you run out of money? Is that an option? It is. I've seen it done before. I can do it. All right. I promise you, I will think about your proposal. Oh, um, milady, your soup. I think he's too inexperienced, though. It's his first big project that he just inherited by his father. So he doesn't really have uh, the experience to speed it up and still build it properly, I think. It turned out better this time, I think. So she cannot really cook or what? August. Oh, it's different. Martha is here. <laughs> It's growing again. Oh, there we go. Still the same amount of wool though. Okay, but look at that. When was the last time I sat here? Must have been weeks, maybe even a month. But there's much more progress here too. She doesn't cook anymore. Can I now take the meat? Nope. Nothing to do here. We still have that thing. I don't know, is it now a month old or what? Well, 
let's talk to Martha. We used to talk about business. Now everything is about Jack and Alfred. How degrading. She must be so bored. Thank you. I'd never thought that my brother could work so hard. He does what he has to. I would never have thought, really. Alfred has changed. He used to be such a bully. He seems really concerned about things now. About Kingsbridge, about you, about your family. I can't wait for you to give me a little nephew or niece. Oh. We don't talk about that. Oh, enough about Alfred. Did you get the blue dye I've been asking for? Actually, I did. It's from a woad merchant in Winchester. Took me some time to find him. Oh, thank you so much, Martha. I guess now I finally have to finish my weaving. How's it going? Hmm, I, I think she's taking her time. That's what she meant, that she hasn't done I'm anything. I'm taking my time. I'm not in a rush. What does Sir Richard think of the idea? I haven't told him yet. When he comes here, he's mostly interested in coin. But that's the deal. He fights and I pay. It's an endless circle. The coat of arms shall remind us of who we are and where we come from, so we don't end up losing purpose. Have you decided on an animal yet? You really should have an animal on it. A bear, a lion, a fox, or an eagle. Eagle is too cliche, we don't choose that. Um, bear... I don't know. I can't remember if they had a coat of arms back in the castle. And if so, if I have seen one, I do not remember if there was a animal on it that we could choose. But lion... I mean... It could stand for strength, but a fox is intelligent. So I think I will choose the fox. Yeah. Cliché. I don't know why a bear. Strength is always good, but intelligence is better. It will sport a fox. Oh, foxes are smart. I like that. Ali, I'm so sorry that I mentioned wanting a niece. I just thought in the last month that you were, well, growing a bit? Oh, <laughs> I'm just getting fat. You're not getting fat? You forget that there's not a lot for me to do other than sit around and eat. Then we should take a hike soon. Stretch your legs and get some sunshine. I'd like that. I would like that a lot. But not today. I need to finish the coat of arms first. Get it done while I still can. September. Oh no, I messed it up. She's pregnant and they never had sex, so it is Jack's baby. Oh gosh. What will Alfred do? Oh, 
I don't know if she bickers. We never spoke to him. <laughs> I think she's trying. But also not because she is always thinking how it would be if she could have been with Jack. And if she refuses to have uh, sex with his part with, with her partner in these times that wouldn't have been seen as being a good wife, I guess. But I, mean, I think she's trying. I don't know. We haven't seen her in her marriage. We have only seen her in on her own or cooking for Alfred. They never had any interaction. So, yeah. What do I, I know? What am I to judge? I have no idea. It's the same as with prior um, Philip. Now we can choose if she will be desperate for the rest of the game, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or we can choose if she kind of bites through, right? I would be desperate, I think. But I would also just go on. What else is there to do? Then I mean no, I would leave, but I don't leave don't live in the in this time. <laughs> I would just get divorced. I wouldn't have married him in the first place. It's as easy as that, but yeah, well, she felt she had to. She seems desperate, and now that she's pregnant, I mean, how... Ugh. I mean, I doubt that Alfred knows how long um, a pregnancy lasts. So if she would this evening hop into bed with him, then she could tell people it was his child. I mean, other people would know, but Alfred wouldn't, I think. He seems to be pretty inexperienced with these things. But still, how would that end? I don't know. I think if she's now pregnant with Jack's baby, that is a reason to be desperate. I don't know what to do anymore. Marrying Alfred was a mistake. I knew it all along, but I saw no other choice. Not if I wanted to stop William Hamley. And Alfred was the only one promising to help me reclaim my father's inheritance. And ever since we've been married, he's been working deep into the night to finish the cathedral. And when he's home, he expects nothing in return. Although I can see so much longing in his eyes. He is trying his best to make our arrangement work. And I try to be a good wife. I made a mistake. And to make things worse, I am pregnant with your grandchild. You brought this on yourself. You had the love of your life, but you threw it away. Oh. <sighs> That's tough. Do you scorn me for what I did? No more than anyone else. First and foremost, I blame that priest who turned my son into a monk. But you're a very close second. I don't know if she can. I don't know if Jack will want to. We don't know. We don't even know where he is and what he's doing. Maybe he found a life that he likes. But 
Mimi can try. What if I brought Jack back? Oh, Aliena. <sighs> Jack has left England. There's no possible way to find out where he went. I want you to know one thing. Jack loved you. For me, that makes you still family. If you can't have his baby, give it to me. I will raise it far away from this crooked world that had no room for my son. I don't want to give our child away. Then you cannot stay here. You cannot go on like this. But I have to. Don't you understand? But that is actually a good solution. October. It's finished. I want you to wear it when you go to battle. To remind us of what we are fighting for. Huh. Why a fox? It suits underdogs like us. It's stealthy and cunning. It's intelligent. We chose it because of, of its smartness. Hmm. A fox is stealthy and cunning. We can't always be straightforward and noble if we want to survive in this wilderness. You hear that, Alfred? I'm a fox. <laughs> Grow up, Richard. This is important. He doesn't like it. Sorry. How's the war going, by the way? How is your standing with the king? It's getting better and better. The good thing is, William Hamley is turning out to be quite the lousy player. <laughs> In our last battle, he ran away when things started to get a bit tight. They say he was afraid to die before he settled matters with his mother. His mother? No one's seen her in years, not since her husband died. But rumor has it she's still alive and joyfully pulling his strings. Mention her to William and he goes as pale as a sheep. Ali, we are so close, but we need to be careful. We mustn't let our guard down. Is there anything you need from me, Richard? Well, a new saddle would be nice. I'll see to it. And a horse to put it on, of course. The last one caught quite a few arrows. Right. I'll be out for a while. I've got some business at the market with Martha. All right. Alina's coat of arms. Alina's design for a coat of arms serves as an emblem for her family, meant to be worn on a shield, surcoat, tabard or flag, and carried into battle. Each element on a coat of arms is meant to provide unique insight into the history and ideals of the carrier, uh, the history and ideals of the carrier, which is why Aliena chose a fox. They are smart and will always find a solution. Exactly. That's what I meant. Nice. Cool. Oh, that is awesome. But now we see that she's really pregnant. So what does Alfred say to that? I wonder. Maybe we will not find out. I mean, he really tries hard, right? He's a nice person. He does everything for, for Richard. So do we go out now or what? Can I talk to them some more? Not to Alfred, not to Richard. Can I take that? Nope. Huh. He's doing well. We all are. Who would have thought? No, I won't brood about him. Yeah, see, I, cannot, I can't have any extended information on how they are doing. Other than that she's a bit depressed and that he just silently does everything he can to support her family so yeah i don't know oh look at that it's done wait what the cathedral maybe this will save king's bridge oh dang it we have to have a look at it 
But not in this episode, I end it here and uh, we will have a look at the finished cathedral in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.